Sjogren's syndrome is well known to involve your lungs and can cause many complications from the dryness of the airways to interstitial lung diseases to increased risk of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, also increased pleural thickening or effusions to pulmonary emboli and pulmonary hypertension. In this lecture, I will discuss to you briefly about how we treat lung disease in patients with Sjogren. But before we begin, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel to support these educational videos. Rheumatologistoncall.com Now, lung involvement in Sjogren patients is a serious complication and will require a team of specialists, including the rheumatologist, but also a lung doctor, which is called a pulmonologist. When lung involvement is suspected, then patients will require further testing, like a special kind of CT called high-resolution CT scan of the lungs to evaluate the presence of fibrosis and pulmonary function tests to evaluate the function of your lungs, and sometimes even a lung biopsy. As I mentioned, a lung specialist physician should be part of your team to help you manage the lung involvement if you have Sjogren syndrome. If you have lung changes, but you have no symptoms at the time of the diagnosis, then no treatment is required, but you will require frequent monitoring every 6 to 12 months. If you develop symptoms like a dry cough or shortness of breath, initially going up the stairs or walking on a flat ground, then the first step is to call your rheumatologist that will refer you to the lung doctor. How to treat lung disease in patients with Sjogren syndrome? The treatment for lung disease could include high dose steroids followed by other medication that will take the role of steroids like azathioprine or mycophenolate mofetil. As you know, staying too long on steroids can potentially cause many other side effects. If you want to learn more, I will invite you to watch this video in my channel where I discuss all the potential side effects of steroids such as prednisone. Now, most of the scientific data that we have about these medications, for example, imuran or azathioprine, mycophenolate mofetil or Celsept or myfortic, are coming from patients that have interstitial lung disease related to other autoimmune diseases, such as scleroderma, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. And the results in patients with Sjogren syndrome can be variable. There are some small reports about the use of rituximab, which is a strong B-cell inhibiting therapy, but more studies are needed to confirm the benefits of using this medication in patients with Sjogren. Patients diagnosed with lymphomas like non-Hodgkin lymphoma or marginal zone lymphoma or mild lymphoma they will require evaluation and treatment under the supervision of an oncologist or a cancer doctor. If you experience dryness in the mouth, eyes, skin, or vaginal dryness, don't forget to watch my other videos that I posted in my channel, where I share many tips that you can use to manage these symptoms. If you want to learn more, don't forget to give a like subscribe to my channel and press the notification button to be informed when the next video will be released. And don't forget that these videos are for educational purposes only and will not substitute medical advice, a diagnosis or treatment. And you should always talk to your physician about your specific needs. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Rheumatologist on call .com.